love is gentle, love is kind, love is patience. I just find love is something beautiful. Forget and forgive. Having the best friend. You share a lot of things, you have a lot of things in common. Do you trust your partner? Loyalty, forgiveness. Uh, so putting, I guess, somebody else in front of your own desires. Many people consider love to be one of those inexplicable feelings that just come to you unexpectedly. People believe you can't control whom you fall in love with or why you fall in love. They believe love is like magic. But what if love can be explained? What if love can be created and calculated, influenced by factors of science? This documentary will take you through the exploration of chemical romance. Everyone has heard of love defined as chemistry clicking. This is, in fact, truer than most people realize. The effect of scent and pheromones plays a significant role in humans. Studies have suggested that women unconsciously use smell to pick up genetic differences between herself and potential mates. Couples with more diverse genetic makeups tend to have more healthy children. Hence, the more diverse the genes, the better the chance of attraction. Benson Law, who is currently finishing his PhD specializing in pheromones in the University of Hong Kong, believes that smell is a key factor in love. This of animals has uh, exposed this uh, nature of pheromone. So um, for finding compatible mates, uh, it's very uh, complex. But uh, one of the pheromone, putative pheromone, which has been identified, which is termed the major histocompatibility complex, or the MHC, is a quite interesting uh, candidate for the uh, finding compatible mates. So um, MHC is very unique for every individual. That's uh, as unique as the fingerprint. And so that you will find that the MHC from, from, uh, from a girl is uh, very different from another girl. So um, the, there is a hypothesis that the MHC serves as an information exchange uh, tools for different individuals and for the and to maximize the benefits of their offspring it's better to gain a quite different MHC combination so um the hypothesis uh, suggests that the, the the individuals may search uh, another mate which is quite uh, different from them in terms of MHC so that this may act as a pheromone to uh, help the individuals to find the mate but scent doesn't just come from within the human body. There are many outside factors which affect how one smells, and this in turn affects other people's perceptions of you. Because smell influences human attraction and entices us to reproduce, consumer demand on perfume and scented products is extremely popular. Many perfumes contain animal pheromones such as muscone, civetone, and castorium in an attempt to recreate animal attraction. If it affects smell, then food also contributes to finding love. There are some reports uh, show that the contraceptive pills or other medicines have changed someone's perception of others. Uh, for example, in a study about uh, which is about the uh, use of contraceptive pills on the uh, sense of attraction, it was noticed that the uh, subjects uh, received taking the contraceptive pills has a different perception of a firm. So um, I think some medicines which will uh, affect someone's hormonal level or the internal environment will uh, definitely um, affect the perception of pheromone and will affect the secretion or production of this uh, kind of chemical. Food affects the body in many different ways. Even the decision to eat more fruits or dairy products in your daily diet affects how sweet or bitter seminal fluid is. Love is sweet indeed, but so is chocolate. Have you ever wondered why people give out chocolates on Valentine's Day or consume massive amounts of it after a breakup? It is because chocolate has chemicals to influence love. But not everyone agrees that love is merely an equation consisting of different chemicals and factors. Anthony Fung from Shanto University and a PhD in chemical engineering has different opinions. Actually, this is a, uh, a myth. It's a myth. Okay, it is not true. The reason why is as follows. One of the, um, if it is really is a chemicals, and based on what we observe about love, right? The one, the reason why I said is as follows. The this uh, chemical phenylephylene only have about you know like half life. You, you know in your science in your physics class you talk, know about half life, right? You only have about five to ten minutes of half life in your body. 
So basically, yes, if I give you one gram, right, five minutes, you're already down to 0.5 gram. So, but I'm sure the love, as I, to I told you about, a real love has to be eternal, right? So, so this thing basically disappears. <laughs> so, again, it may give you a very short-term effect in the beginning, but when you really talk about the long-term of love reactions, I think, I don't think this one play a very significant role. The researchers at University College London discovered that people in love have lower levels of a chemical called serotonin. These lower serotonin levels are the same as those found in people with obsessive compulsive disorders, possibly explaining why those in love obsess about their partners. I understand that um, this is what is called serotonin, right? This is actually this molecule right here. Um, the way I understand is actually this is only a neurotransmitter. So what it actually means is it only helps to transmit some new, uh, neural signals between some of the nerve cells. So now the way is it is basically is a, a messenger. And I understand that from some of the early research from the scientists, this, uh, part uh, this uh, particular um, uh, chemicals did have some effect on the anxiety level of a person. But I think so, so far the early result, it only maybe with this particular type of chemicals only have an impact of about like you know, 10%. So there's a, the way I will put it in a more like statistical point of view, it's only about 10% correlation. There's some effect, but it's not like a, um, a switch, turn it on and off. Basically, if I give it to you, immediately you kick in, right? So only have a 10% chance. So yeah, there's some effect, but I, 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 I still believe that so far, there's not a complete pictures how these particular chemicals work. So it did. It's only is a messenger, so, so I think that's very important. It's a messenger. It doesn't really help to move the reactions. If you believe love is a reaction, it doesn't help help you to move the reaction from one from the what reactants to the product stage. So it only helps. So how does science affect love? What are the causes? What are the effects? Science today cannot give us an exact chemical equation to what love is, or even tell us if one exists. But science certainly plays a big role in the game of love.